Good morning class. Today we'll be learning about the skin derivatives and the function. We'll start with hair, a very important. It is a specialized elongated thread like cylindrical outgrowth of the skin epidermis. Alright? It lies within a pit in the skin called hair follicle. Alright? It lies in the pit in the skin called hair follicle. The base of the hair follicle has a small aggregation of dermal tissue. So there are many of dermal tissue. So there are aggregation of many tissues. Alright. Now the hair as there is presence of dermal tissue. This means that it is richly filled with blood vessels and it also provides nourishment to the hair. So this tissue helps in providing blood vessels, uh, uh, nourishment to the hair. Next now, the hair has divided into three parts. That is hair sap, hair root and hair bulb. Okay, so let us start with the hair sap. Hair sap is the upper part of the hair. It, all right, it is the upper part of the hair above the epidermis next is hair root is the basal part of the hair situated deeply in the dermis so it is in the dermis region next one we have hair bulb as a lower part of the hair root which expands in the form of bulb shaped right so this is known as hair bulb so hair follicle and hair bulb are collectively responsible for growth of the hair <coughs> so they are responsible for the growth of the hair so very important pigment that is present in the hair is that melanin pigment the grayish color of the hair is often due to small spaces small air spaces all right in that hair small air spaces formed in the hair due to the loss of pigment so people having gray hair doesn't mean that it is because of less amount of pigment and when there's a gap of pigment the hair will turn gray in color so this is all we are going to learn for today that is one of the very important skin derivatives hair, hair. Alright, it has to be different in three parts, hair saft, hair root and hair bulb.